Hello again, security and risk community. Welcome to another video tutorial to help you get started with the ServiceNow security applications. My name is Eric Ferron in Santa Clara, California. My guest today is Mark Janchesson, Director of Global Alliances at ServiceNow. Good afternoon, Mike, and welcome. Good afternoon, Eric. Uh, hello, everybody, and thank you for having me on the show. It's great to have you here, Mike. So how about you start by telling us a little bit about yourself so we get to know you a bit better. Yeah, sure thing. So my name is Mike Janchesson. Um, I've been in the security industry over 20 years. Uh, I've been with ServiceNow, oh, two and a half years. Started in November 2016 in the security business unit to build out the partner ecosystem. And over that time, uh, I've seen a lot of change and growth and some pretty incredible success stories uh, in, the, in a market. And very excited to be able to help you through the journey of picking a partner. So thanks for having me. Before we jump into your presentation, let me bring up a quick refresher from the previous episodes. This helps place today's conversation in context as we're building the path to success for our new users of the ServiceNow security and risk applications. This is a slide that uh, everyone listening here should now be rather familiar with because we have seen it a number of times. It describes the stages and steps towards implementation. My previous guests took great care to insist on the necessity to work with a partner. And I believe, Mike, that today you're going to share with us some more details on how to do this right. That's right. So how to choose a partner uh, in, in our ecosystem. So first of all, why do I need a partner? Well, there's, there's quite a few really great reasons why. Uh, technically, you are not required to choose a partner. You're not required to buy services uh, with our platform. Uh, but we do have some very good reasons why you need to do it. When you go down the journey with security or, or any pieces of our platform, uh, there is no substitute for experience in having a successful implementation and a measurable, quantifiable success at the end of it. Our data shows uh, in security and in, in the greater ecosystem that there's really no substitute for the experience and most of that experience resides at our partner base. Uh, our partners have done more implementations than, than anyone. Um, they understand what is required along that journey. Um, so it's very important to uh, get those requirements and understand that the person doing it has the ability to execute. And by execute, it means getting those initial successes and those initial applications, those initial automations completed and functioning uh, so that you can show to, to the executive staff or your stakeholders that we're making progress. If you're not making progress, then uh, the worst thing that we can, we can all uh, agree upon here is that it's shelfware. We, we don't want that. Just like mathematics, if you learn the addition, subtraction first, the multiplication and division is built upon those successes. So speed is important. Uh, we don't want to go too fast, but if you don't have the skill sets, you wait to get people trained who have never been on the platform before, uh, you're not going to get the speed that a, a qualified partner will, will bring to you. Additionally, uh, the talent pool of security specialists out in the world is, is as we all know in this industry, uh, uh, very scarce. So the cost is well worth uh, the eventual savings um, in quantifiable value at the end. So picking the right partner in the right time is key. Uh, we don't want to just default to uh, someone that we already have a contract with or somebody that, uh, that we know or is comfortable with or maybe is, has done uh, another piece of the platform. Uh, we don't want you to ignore your current ServiceNow platform. Many of them have excellent platform skills and some of them have excellent security practices as well. Uh, but it is very important to look beyond them too, particularly if you have a partner that has only done an IT service management or perhaps a, uh, maybe a, a customer service or HR implementation. Uh, they may be subject matter experts and have experience in those pieces of the, the platform, but uh, security is slightly different, uh, as is HR um, and, and some of the other tool sets too. So look for experience. Uh, it, that, that's the most important piece. Um, Obviously, one that knows your organization well, 
uh, has worked in your organization in the past. Uh, I think this is a no-brainer, but I wanted to, to say it out loud. Uh, they can help the, uh, the various stakeholders understand what's going on and, and, and weave through uh, uh, some environments uh, and you don't have to teach them. So, so we're going to focus on uh, the first three uh, along the continuum here. So defining a strategy, searching for, for candidates and evaluating candidates. So putting a pen to paper, defining your strategy, this is very important. And often, believe it or not, this is overlooked. Uh, the documentation that we've seen in unsuccessful implementations has been very limited. Um, there's confusion on what uh, the partner was supposed to do versus what they you know, were charging you for. So make sure you know what skills they need, what ex you know, understand the experience. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, the resources have to be named um, versus just uh, certifications for the broader company. Understand who these individuals are. That's very important. Um, understand the ongoing support you expect. The best customers that we have, our reference customers, our, our go-to uh, customer advisory board customers, they've really gone through with the partner over a journey and it wasn't just an implementation. It was a project, it was a transformation, soft transformation vulnerability management program life cycle. Uh, they stuck with this through, uh, through a year, year and a half, and the outcomes have been very good. So document those expectations and, and desires. Um, if, if you can, get them into the statement of work. It's worth the cost for that business process outcome. Uh, very, very important. So define those performance and success metrics. So in your search for candidates, obviously, uh, if you have a ServiceNow implementation or instance already that's functioning, uh, that's a great place to look. Um, meet with that partner, understand their capabilities, then look at other partners. The ServiceNow product line sales team that you've worked with uh, probably for some amount of time to, to decide upon the solution, they're a great source. Uh, I work with them on a daily basis on this subject. Uh, so they understand who's trained, who, who's done it before, uh, who's a subject matter expert, they're great resources, and they're all security industry experts. So work with your local alliances team. They understand the local market, the local players, who's investing, um, and, and they're a great source of information too. Uh, obviously, you can reach out to me. My contact information will be at, at the end of this. and. Uh, Probably the best source is asking your peers who's done well. Now, uh, depending on how you ask the questions, not every implementation is perfect. So we, you know, we always see on reviews that uh, there can be you know, some, some negativity, but uh, for the most part, look for higher CSATs, look for you know, the, the customers who've had success um, and have implemented the applications. Last but not least, the ServiceNow Partner Finder on the website. Uh, that is under construction, I will warn you. Uh, there's some information there, can give you high level partner names and some of the, uh, some of the expertise there. Uh, the completely revamped Partner Finder is going to be released in July. I believe July 6th after the holiday. Sixth or seventh, uh, forget what that, that Monday is. So, um, that will have an incredible amount of information uh, on our partner program and who we actually have vetted to get up there along the, along the uh, partner program. So some very high level ways to evaluate candidates, customer satisfaction, uh, practice experience, platform experience, the individual team experience, as I mentioned before, uh, but these are the four uh, ways to, to really get to the goodness. So going back to the partner finder, uh, this is how we classify partners. And what you'll find on our partner finder in July is that it's, it's along these lines. So uh, if you look at the, the y-axis, 
uh, offering maturity. These are partners that have uh, specialist organizations, specialist uh, groups of individuals that know the security product line very well. They've been certified. Uh, they have business plans with us. They understand uh, their local markets uh, and they're investing. Uh, go to market maturity. We look at that as partners who can scale globally, partners that have expansion capability. They, they have subcontract contracting capability. They have flexibility to, to, to address the customer needs in a wide, uh, wide manner. So those classifications will be on the website and you will see badging uh, along each product line, who's done the certifications, who has CSAT scores that are, uh, uh, I believe 8.9 and above, or uh, 8.5 and above. Uh, and that's going to be a good, a good judgment uh, uh, point there. So, you know, this is the one that everybody, uh, you know, probably wish I put, would put first, but uh, these are pitfalls. And going alone, doing a self-implementation is not recommended. Only because only our most mature customers who've been on the ServiceNow platform for a very long time uh, and have mature security organizations that have a SIM, have their own SIM, their own SOC, and they're going through their own transformation. They are the only self-implementers that we've seen be successful. And we've had to work with them quite a bit. We augment their, their skill sets. Um, what we've seen with with normal customers who self-implement is that they end up with shelfware. And that's because inevitably there's organizational change. There's new people coming in that may not know the platform or know why it was purchased. A lot of different reasons, uh, but it can be a challenge and it doesn't serve the, the greater organization uh, much good to, to, to not be implemented. So defaulting to your ITSM partner, this is a common one. Uh, we've had many great successes with IT service management or ITIL partners that may not be security partners, but it is a yellow flag because there's, there's the fundamental difference in the approach from a security operations center and from a risk perspective than there is from an IT perspective. Uh, we're seeing them get closer, uh, particularly on the vulnerability side, uh, but just know that that's a yellow flag. Um, failing to account for org change ma and management expertise, business process consulting. Uh, change management is, a, is an important piece. Uh, it's a, a softer skill than the IT or security technical skills. Change management is very important throughout an organization, especially large organizations that are going through these changes with these types of platform products. It's a very important skill set to have. Our, our best partners have full divisions and, and practices of change management teams. It's something you'd want to look at as, uh, as a, a very, very, very key part of an implement a, a large implementation. Failing to plan check-ins and taking them seriously. Uh, we've seen a lot of partners uh, and, and customers do quick implementations and move on to the next one it usually ends up in a low app utilization rate, which then ends up in a low value uh, to, the, to the organization who purchased the, the product. So we don't want that. Check-ins are really important. Our most successful partners have it built into their statements of work, and they really don't compromise on that. Uh, it can be a tough, co uh, tough conversation to, to make the, the, the statement of work last that long or be, uh, be charged for it, but the, the most successful partners do that, and you should be looking for, for a partner who asks those hard questions. So SME certification, certified partners, that's a very straightforward one. Uh, I think that's a no-brainer. Using an uncertified partner is uh, uh, probably not a good idea. Um, which is the second, the last, the last bullet there, choosing an experienced partner. If they haven't done it before, more than likely you don't want to be a guinea pig. So if you're looking at a, a project, uh, adding on to what you've already done, uh, take a look at our partner finder in July. Uh, I'm personally very excited about it because uh, I think when, 
when we put a lot of the work that we do into vetting partners and making them really skillful, which is what I do on a daily basis, um, you get to get all the benefits of that. So until then, feel free to contact your product line sales team or local alliances team or, or myself. Uh, there's my email address in, in lights there. And uh, uh, good luck in finding a great partner. We want to help you along that journey. So thank you, Eric, for, for giving me the, uh, the platform today. Appreciate it. Thank you for this, Mike. And in particular, thank you for making yourself available to the audience if they have more questions. Of course, I also encourage all listeners to ask questions to their peers on the community forum. And I look forward to some of the great discussions and exchange of recommended practices and tips that are going to take place there. So we are at the end of this episode. I've got a few quick reminders before we close. First, as usual, the PDF version of the slides will be available in the video description and in the forum. Uh, don't forget to ask your questions in the forum and you will get answers. And of course, finally, uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and the thread in the forum to stay up to date and not miss the next episode of the series. Thank you again, Mike, and thank you all for listening. Until next time, goodbye.